Hi, I'm Scott. Today we're going to talk about holiday lights on the house on Dad It Yourself. All right, everybody. It's that time of year again. Here's my house. Right there. I'm going to put some Christmas lights up. Well, what are we going to do? Well, probably along the eaves, up there, around the doors, around the planter beds, down the side, up the side, around and down, and maybe even decorate those trees down there like small little Christmas trees. Sometimes I go overboard and I go all the way out to this strip here. I don't think I'm going that far this year. Uh, but we'll see. Once I get started, I get a little crazy. So everything I need to decorate my house for Christmas is in those five blue bins and then that cardboard fan box, which is just a Christmas wreath or two, I think. So everything I need, so I gotta get those down. So here's all my lights. These are probably 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 light strands all coiled up. Same with this one. I think there's nets. No, nets are in this one. And then all my extension cords and timers and a couple of extra new sets from last year I didn't use. So this all goes on the outside of the house. The other two bins go on the inside of the house. So the first challenge is getting electricity to starting points. And what I do is I use this GFI here. There's another matching one in my backyard. And then over here in the garage, right inside that door, there's another GFI that I run a cord out to that corner. And those are my three points of power for the whole house. Um, the challenge you have to do with having this many lights, you can't just plug them all into one spot. So just make sure you spread it out and always use a GFI. So just about everywhere where I can reach from the ground, uh, either by foot or on a ladder, I have put hooks. You get some white ones there, some black ones in the dark paint area, and they're everywhere. They're around the door frames, the window frames. They're down below. I don't know if you can see some down there. There's one right there, a couple down there at the bottoms of these pylons. And what I do is I just kind of loop the lights i'll start up here i'll come across this eave right here i'll cut into here i'll go up and down this pole back out around over here back and down this pole around and up over here and then i'll bring another strands in from around the windows and the doors and we'll come over here and we'll just keep tying in so the key here and the challenge is making sure you have plugs that terminate in certain areas that you can reach and bring circuits in without getting too many on a strand. So let's start hanging some lights. So while I was hanging this strand, this, uh, this one went dark on me. It was working and then it stopped. So I got a choice. I can either pull this strand down, deal with it later, or I can troubleshoot it on the house. I think I'll troubleshoot it on the house. It's probably just a loose bulb somewhere. That, uh, I don't know, or a broken one. I'll have to look. So I ended up uh, replacing that strand, actually replaced it twice. So I'm back to square one now. Let's try if we can get this done.
So I've got the garage doors done. I have this side of the house over here. You can't see it, but they're on the corner. And then I'm coming across the eave here. As soon as I come across here, what I have to do is I have to be able to bring power up this way towards this upper side and then around to this side. And this plug right here you see hanging down, unfortunately the end of it's dead, but I have to bring power up and get around this window. And I have to go up the side of this corner and up the side of this corner as well. So I'm gonna bring one across this way and then tie in what I call them 10 footers and I'll push a 10 footer up there and I'll push a 10 footer up there and I'll show you how I do that in a second. So my camera is really good for adjusting for darkness. It's actually a lot darker than it looks right now, but I have a street light behind me. So I got all this done today and it is a little before seven. So it's a little too dark now. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna work on that window there, this area here, and then start working the second floor eave. And then we'll finish up in the yard tomorrow and we should be done. Hey everybody, next day, it's already dark again because when I get off work at three o'clock, it's starting to get dark. So what have I done already? I put these lights up here, I've done this light up here, and now I'm working my way across this eave and around the back side of the house using the pole and the eave clips. Let's do some of that now. All right, so to get to the sections of the second story where I can't reach, what I do is I use this extension pole and I have these plastic clips. And these go on the end like this. I just kind of thread on here and then imagine this two by four is the rafter tail and what it does is I push up and this snaps over the rafter tail like that and then I just untwist the pole and this stays up. If you look there's a little teeny gap in each one of these corners so as you're lifting it up you take a cord from the light and you just kind of leave it in here like this and then push it against the rafter tail like that and it holds the light up in that uh, upper rafter area where I can't get to it with a ladder from the ground or from parts of my first floor roof on the second story. So let's go ahead and put some of those up now. Hey, real quick, let's talk about safety. Whenever you're using a ladder or getting up on the roof, make sure you have someone there as a safety observer to hold that ladder. And if you're up on that roof, think about getting some fall protection to make sure you don't fall off. This time of the year, we have a lot of wind and rain and it's a slippery place and no one wants to get hurt right before the holidays. So for my porch light, there's just a CFL in there. Well, oh, actually, these are LEDs now. I had CFLs in there the previous years. But what I did is I just took a CFL and spray painted it green. These don't get hot, so it's not really that big of a deal. Let me get that in there. There it is. Now it's green for the season. So if you're wondering how I control all these lights, I got these on Amazon, they're from Torque, and they have a timer and a light uh, sensor. So I have them set so at dusk, which around here is about 3.30 in the afternoon, uh, they turn on and you can set them for two, four, six, eight, or even dusk to dawn. 
and then you can turn them off if you want them off for whatever reason. Um, my porch lights are actually on a timer through my Alexa and they turn on at dusk as well and turn off at 10 p.m. So everything's kind of timed about the right time, about six hours from 3.30. So 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, all my lights go off. So I got these red and green uh, gels. They're used for like, um, I don't know, like theatrical performances to put over the colored lights. They're pretty thick. They're probably six mil. And uh, probably no thicker than that. I don't know. They're pretty good. And I'm going to put those over these lights so I don't have white light shining. Let's put those up. So I just put those up there with blue painter's tape. This is under my porch. It's out of the weather and only has to stay up there a couple of weeks and it won't damage anything. Just remember, safety first when putting up holiday lights. No one wants to get hurt right before the holidays. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.